Goedemiddag, good afternoon, beste vrienden, dames en heren, vrienden, engelen van het Stiftfestival and lovers of music all over the world. Welcome to this live streamed concert here from the 14th century Stiftskerk, the heart of the Stift International Music Festival. Um, aan de Nederlandstaligen zeg ik, ik vermoed dat degenen die in het buitenland zitten minder goed Nederlands spreken dan jullie, onze vrienden hier in Nederland, Engels uh, beheersen. Dus ik ga dit grotendeels in het Engels doen met jullie goed vinden. Dear friends, this should have been the final day of a splendid week full of chamber music side by side coaching by international masters and uh, talents from all over the world. Last year we had the first edition of the Stift Musical Encounters, which was a new springtime initiative uh, under the umbrella of the Stift International Music Festival. Of course, the main um, element of the festival has now for 15 years been the, by now, rather large uh, summer festival at the end of August. And we are tremendously much hoping and trying to realize some kind of festival this summer, the end of August, we will keep you posted We watch this space, as they say. It will be a combination of streaming, uh, innovative, uh, smaller concerts. We have to keep the music alive uh, while maintaining, of course, always public health and safety. These two things side by side. Just, I, I walk one circle, 360, so I can show you the uh, beautiful place we are. If you're very lucky, you can see our lovely board member, Herman, who's trying to hide from the camera back there. <laughs> So this is the Stift. If I show you over there, the little house behind the well. Show the go over there with the camera, up there. That's where I grew up. My whole childhood was spent here, hearing this bird song and looking out over this sheer beauty. And in 2005, I, with some good friends, decided this place needs a festival. And right now, I think it's time to show you a little video that we made quite informally of the first Stift Musical Encounters, the Spring Masterclasses, exactly a year ago. Welcome. In April 2019, the Stift Festival for the first time organized the Stift Musical Encounters. Intensive individual masterclasses, gem music coaching, and side-by-side -side rehearsing and performing with the international faculty. We also had some lovely evenings in the beautiful homes of the festival's supporters and patrons. Chamber music in a warm, cozy ambiance with great food and drink. There was nothing left to wish for. <laughs> the festival hub, the 14th century Stiftskerk, showed itself the perfect venue for informal midnight chamber music reading sessions. Sunday afternoon at beautiful Castel Sinchaven, this young lady gave her very first public performance. There were three public evening concerts where the students performed side by side with the international faculty. Maya Bogdanovic, cello, Vladimir Mendelssohn, viola, Nino Gretazze and Anthony Hewitt, piano. Thorsten Johans on clarinet, and myself, Daniel Rowland, on violin.
for me, these first stiff musical encounters were an excellent combination of exploring the very serious and the not so serious sides of music making. <laughs> The final concert was a five-hour marathon, ending with a midnight performance of the one and only Mendelssohn Octet. <laughs> Looking back at these beautiful, intensive six days in April, I think we all came out enriched and inspired. I want to thank the students for their superbly open-minded, inquisitive, adventurous spirit. Huge thanks, of course, to our amazing international faculty, Nino, Maya, Vladi, Torsten and Tony. You gave us so tremendously much. And last but certainly not least, thanks to all those behind the scenes who made this possible. Thanks to our board members, host families, friends and angels of the festival, and to Tobias, our producer, who made it all seem so easy. See you next year at the Stiff Musical Encounters 2020. So I think that gave some kind of impression of this huge degree of energy and passion and um, sheer love of music and of communicating music and sharing music that was uh, here one year ago. And how this, this amazing ancient church that I love so much and I know since my childhood somehow um, was willingly, flexibly, warmly transformed into a laboratory for chamber music and for musical experimentation. I think it was something uh, beautiful, something of, of all ages, somehow. Time for some music. We'd like to, I was talking about energy and passion just now. Uh, Maya Bogdanovich here, the one and only wonderful Maya, and I, we actually met at a, at a gorgeous little festival on, a festi on an island in Denmark called Feje, and the first piece we ever played together was this Pasakalia by Handel Halvorsen. I cannot think of a piece that is more passionately and fun-filled virtuosity than this. We hope you will enjoy it. Handel Halvorsen, Pasakalia.
Go. Mwah. And uh, can you believe it? I think that's officially pretty difficult for the cello. But you could have fooled me. <laughs> now I know why they have presenters alternating with the musicians, because it's exhausting to talk after playing. Ah, what a pleasure, ladies and gentlemen, dear friends, lieve vrienden en engelen van ons geliefde festival. Let me say a few words in Dutch. Lieve vrienden en engelen, dit is natuurlijk vooral in eerste instantie voor jullie, dit concert. Dankzij, uh, zonder jullie was er geen festival en dankzij jullie bestaan wij. En boven dat nog, het idee dat de connectie tussen ons geliefde kernpubliek, jullie en de muzici, is iets dat een ongelooflijke intimiteit en, en warmte en persoonlijke, uh, persoonlijkheid geeft aan het festival. En dat is voor mij zo belangrijk. Nu ga ik weer even terug naar, naar Engels. I was just saying how happy I am to play for our friends and angels, because that's what we call the kind of the supporters of the festival. And if you feel in a particularly friendly or even <laughs> angelic mood today, uh, if you feel you would like to support the festival like this, I think there is some kind of button you can press online now, and your support is welcome in any kind of uh, size, although a lot, of course, is not bad. But uh, no, seriously, um, the first, the entry level is as a friend, and then the angels are really our saviors. So you, you're welcome in any way that you can and would like to support this festival, and indeed any festival, and any musicians at this strange time. Um, speaking of, I wanted to say, speaking of strange musicians, but that's not what I meant. Speaking of strange times, there should have been four rather wonderful musicians right here in the church with us performing. And the wonderful thing is that uh, we musicians, we're, we're rather creative. I mean, we should be, and inventive. And through this whole corona crisis, we've been learning about technology as well, more than ever before. So we found all these ways of performing from our homes and, and connecting. So right now, I'd like to invite our first special guest, wonderful uh, Brazilian-French pianist, Juliana Steinbach, great friend of ours and, and of the festival, uniquely uh, brilliant, uh, shiny, uh, warm-hearted personality uh, in life as in music. Juliana finds herself somewhere in the French countryside, and I'm so happy to welcome her now direct from France into the Stiftskerk. Dearest Juliana, welcome and, uh, and over to you. Daniel, Maya, my dear friends, thank you for welcoming me into your concert from Stift. I'm in uh, Normandie in France right now with my family since beginning of March. And I was so much looking forward to the Stift musical encounters. I was so excited about everything we had planned to do together, the concerts and performances and coachings and chamber music masterclasses. It, it all was just a, a dream. Uh, hopefully it will happen soon again and we'll soon have other chances to meet on stage, maybe already this summer fingers crossed, and, um, and play for a, a, a physical audience. Anyway, I'm really grateful for this, for this chance to share music uh, virtually with you now. And uh, I just want to, to take this moment to, to say a big thank you to all the team of Stift Festival. I have to say this festival is, is run by a group of people uh, who are incredibly inspiring and uplifting. And I couldn't be more grateful to the friendship and the support you manifested during those challenging times. Thank you. Thank you from all my heart. Um, Daniel, you asked me to perform a little piece and uh, as you see I, I only have a, a really old and out of tune upright piano here in the beach house so my possibilities are quite limited. Um, nevertheless I chose a piece which I adore which is the beautiful melody uh, of Orpheus by Gluck. It carries a, a very touching message of, uh, of love and uh, tenderness and uh, hope through the dark uh, times. Uh, and I think that's precisely what we need right now. So uh, I'm sending all of you all my love and uh, wishing everyone good health and um, all the best until we meet very soon again.
Dearest Juliana, I have to say we were listening here and you know getting quite uh, quite emotional because to, to hear your your so personal, uh, beautiful, adorable words. Well, knowing you, it doesn't surprise me, but it's still it's still gorgeous. And then to hear you play this this this, this melody of love and and loss on this this horrible <laughs> old little honky tonk piano, uh, but it, it kind of illustrates our um, situation. Now you were there in a beautiful place, but isolated and you let the music shine through the music and beauty and uh, and love and that reminds me of a piece we're going to play in just a few minutes uh, by Vasks which is all about beauty and uh, and love but before that I'd like to um, I'd like to ask a, a very special friend who should have been here as well on stage with us right now, because as you maybe know, this should have been the big final gala concert of the Stift Musical Encounters, would have been the second year, second edition of this spring educational um, element of the Stift Festival. And last year we had such an amazing time, so much fun. I found it very inspiring. I don't know what the students thought, but I, I found them very inspiring in any case. And um, speaking of inspiring, uh, we come to Vladi, Vladi Mendelssohn. Uh, many of you will, of course, know him as one of the great viola players of, of our time. And I almost want to say more than that, but, but beside that, he is a, a musical uh, philosopher and someone who, uh, well, among many other things, he programs the Kuchmo Festival in Finland, which I sometimes think of uh, right, as the kind of the, the big mama, the, the, you know, the mothership of all these European chamber music festivals. Uh, I have met so many people in Kuchmo, lasting musical friendships, inspiring combinations. I mean, the fact that Maya and I met is very largely due, uh, thanks to Kuchmo. So, dearest Vladi, um, I know you have a few words you want to say, and you can say these words uh, better, than, better than anyone. So, in the spirit of Kuchmo and Stift and all these beloved kind of sister festivals, it's over to you. Dear friends from the little paradise of Stift, dear music lovers, musicians and viola players, I am convinced that we all need a reminder of the things we lost but will regain as soon as hope gets reborn. The sound of all my friends making music is the sound of civilization which refuses to capitulate in front of the surrounding race into the darkness. We are the ambassadors of the best there is in the human creation and the most noble there is as well. The art among the arts, music. Join us in our mission impossible, bringing dreaming and beauty back into your lives. Dearest Vladi, thank you for those beautiful words. Uh, it's an honor and a joy as always to hear you speak about music and about life. By the way, I love the painting right behind you. This is beautiful. Uh, one of my favorite painters, I think. Dear Vladi, thanks. Uh, at this point, I'd like to say just a couple of words about, um, about the, this festival, the Stiffs Festival. Uh, I grew up right across this little church, the Stiffskerk, 14th century uh, church in the east of Holland, in this area known as Twente. And sorry for the genen die hier wonen en het allemaal al weten, maar het is toch voor de buitenlanders wel echt. Echt bijzonder om te horen over Twente. This region is, is green and steeped in, in um, kind of fairy tales and, and legends. And people here are famously uh, hospitable. And the nature is gorgeous. And when I was a kid, I had a, a kind of a, a book with the various uh, climact, uh, climate, not climactic, climate regions of the world. And there was one was like this beautiful green countryside, like idyllic. 
And then I thought, okay, that, that's kind of nice, because that's where I'm actually living. That's exactly what it looks like here around, <laughs> around Weslo. Because I was born in London, and when I was three, my parents moved right here to Stift. And then in 2005, to skip just a couple of years, 2005, as a student, I was playing a concert here with some great friends, including Anna Bet, Beb, and, and Joel Waterman, still great friends after all these years. And uh, we thought, there has to be a festival here. It started really small, 2005, and over the years, it's kind of uh, expanded. And of course, I'm, I'm proud and you know, overjoyed to say that this is, without a doubt, one of, you know, one of the main chamber music festivals in Holland now and internationally on the map. And that's thanks to all supporters and the amazing team we have behind the festival. Um, what am I going to introduce now? Vasks, yes, I lost my thread just for, <laughs> for half a second. Um, to say that, um, yeah, there are two elements terribly important for the festival besides, um, uh, well, three elements, playing great music in an adventurous, risk-taking, uh, almost uh, raw way. And this church is so perfect for that because it doesn't gift you any kind of shiny acoustic. It's pure and real, and I love that. And then the other thing is supporting young talents. That, a little bit more about that later on. And then I come to something so important to me, I think also because of my dad was a composer, uh, presenting new music, showing the beauty, the originality, the diversity of pieces which have been written just yesterday, just this last year. So we have composers in residence every year, and last year we had the privilege of um, hosting the great Peter S. Vasks, one of the great composers of our day. We'd love to play a piece by him now. Working closely with Peters, and I think you might be seeing some pictures now of him. Um, it's so inspiring. A man who talks about belief, about nature, and about uh, love, and expresses that in his music as no one else does. And in these difficult days we're living through, what can be more important than those, than those things? We're going to play for you now, I've just grabbed my bow, uh, Castillo Interior, uh, a piece for violin and cello based on the works by the books by Teresa von Avila, and it's all about finding heaven while uh, on earth, finding heaven on earth, deeply touching piece. Before that, we stay in the um, theme of nature, and we're going to play Raindrops by the eight or maybe eight and a half year old Sibelius. And actually, for this, I don't need my bow. So bow goes there, little Sibelius, and beautiful. Fasks.
think if we look at these, uh, these windows here, somehow I think the, this music and this, this vision is very, uh, very close together. And when I remember Peter standing here in this church just a couple of months ago and talking about um, nature, belief, reverence, and above all, love, and then about the dark forces in life, the monster, as in this piece. But then love, and then this piece, a beautiful D major love towards the end. Always winning. What a beauty. Thank you, Petrus, Maestro Vasques, for this magical piece. Um, time for some uh, beautiful, splendid guest appearances, two to be precise. One by one of the great Dutch young talents and already an amazing young artist in her own right, and another by one of the great leading clarinetists of our day. Uh, first, um, the young talent. This is uh, Vera Bömer. Vera is one of the shining lights on the scene of Dutch young violinists, won many competitions. She led the wonderful Netherlands Youth String Orchestra for many years, and I'm lucky enough to be her teacher at the moment at the Royal College in London, and Vera really has a spark when she plays, and that's what it's all about. And I asked Vera, who would have been here, in fact, as a student at the SME, I asked her, what will you play for us today? Um, maybe not physically present, but certainly um, in the mind here. And she came up with something really lovely. So, uh, dear Vera, it's great to see you uh, virtually, and uh, over to you. Hi Daniel, uh, met ons gaat alles goed. We zijn vandaag aan het opnemen voor een auditie voor een fonds. En we zijn net klaar. En we gaan nu voor jullie Liebeslight van Frits Kreisler spelen. Ik ben met Jorian van Nee. En uh, wij willen ons liefdesverdriet uitdrukken naar het stift. Omdat het zo'n mooie, geweldige plek is om te zijn. En ik vind het heel jammer dat ik er dit jaar niet naartoe kan.
Oh, Vera, wat mooi. Dank je wel dat je dat voor ons gespeeld hebt. Natuurlijk het ideale stuk, Liebesleid van Kreisler. Natuurlijk Kreisler, de grote violist van ongeveer 100 jaar geleden. En ik, ik, ik las over Kreisler dat hij, hij een trucje had... dat hij als hij bijvoorbeeld een Brahms concert speelde met orkest... dat uh, terwijl er orkest in leiding naar een soort climax toebouwde... hield hij zijn viool helemaal beneden, gebeurde helemaal niks. En op het allerlaatste moment, als het publiek al dacht van... Jesus, is, is hij in slaap gevallen of leeft hij nog? Op het allerlaatste moment ging de viool omhoog... en in één beweging, tjoe, explosie van, uh, van passie. Hij was ook echt een, uh, een, een showman. And uh, yeah, I guess I go back to, back to English now... I'd love to introduce someone who is not only a showman, but also one of the nicest people I know, and of obviously one of the uh, great clarinetists of this time. Uh, Torsten Johans, for many years, was the principal clarinet of the famous VDR Symphony Orchestra in Cologne, and is now, among many other solo activities, he's also a professor in Weimar, and an incredibly generous uh, man and friend as well, as you will see by what I believe he's going to play for us in, in a moment. Uh, Torsten told me about this, and it, it, for me it ticks all the boxes. This is an, uh, a contemporary piece, it's, it's crazy, it's incredibly interesting, and I believe it has also a, a personal connection for, for all of us. So, dear Torsten, thank you for being here. It's a pity we're not here so we can, let's say, hug each other. But uh, over to your living room in beautiful Weimar. Hello from my home office and welcome to our living room in Weimar. This is a special musical greeting, a special musical message to all the angels and friends of Stift Festival and personally also to Maya and Daniel. I would really love to be with you right now. Very special greetings also to Annie. Van harte gefeliciteerd met je verjaardag, Annie. I would like to play a short version of New York Counterpoint by Steve Reich and my thoughts are with our mutual friend James Austin Smith who is currently in New York.
my goodness, what an amazing piece. Thank you so much. I mean, that you just from living room can bring us that, that passion and, and excitement and such a cool piece. And also this dedication to dear James in New York. And of course, I add all of our Maya, of mine, loving uh, greetings and good wishes to James and to everyone in New York. And indeed to all our friends, mag musicians, magicians and musicians all over the world. Um, stay well and be safe. And beside that, um, of course, you know, this is not, a, not an easy time for, for all of us. Um, um, if, if musicians start chatting on Skype, on FaceTime, about what we should have been doing these months, uh, artistically, inspirationally, friendshiply, not to mention financially, this is quite scary. And uh, I mean, who am I to speak up now? But I would say, if you watching now are in any position to help any musician around the world right now, please do. And if you are in a position in government, please do it. Make it happen, because what is life without art? And um, if you want to help the Stift Festival, I think you can press this little button. But I'm as happy if you help any musician in the world as you can. We talked about live music, uh, how and music of this time, and now nearing the end of our show, our performance for you. We'd love to play a piece by a composer who we love to bits, who was also featured on this new CD that Maya and I recorded recently for Challenge, uh, which has on it six world premieres, also by Marcelo Nizinman and by Penderecki, the great missed, uh, the great late Penderecki, and this piece, Giovanni Solima, uh, brilliant Sicilian uh, composer, cellist, one of the most original pers personalities any of us has ever met. And we asked him for that CD, do you have any piece for violin, cello, duo? And he said, ah, I'm so sorry, I don't actually. And then he said, oh, actually, little light bulb, I think he said, I wrote a piece in the early 90s for a political demonstration in Palermo. Let me try and find it in the attic. And he found it in the attic, and this is it.
Uh, that piece needs applause, not our performance, but uh, the piece, or the piece that is. And I always say, I mean, the most exciting moment ever is to get a brand new piece from a composer, something just written, and uh, this got close. This was lying in Giovanni's attic for a while, and then he, he found it there, especially for at Maya's request. And I understand, who could ever say no to any request from, from Maya? <laughs> right? Yeah, you will remind me of that, I think, when I need to put out the, uh, the garbage or something like that. Um, now comes this lovely moment, right? Yes, now comes the lovely moment. Um, maybe, I don't know if you already kind of uh, spotted this, there is one person sitting in this, in this church. Of course, it's forbidden to congregate, it's forbidden to have audiences, but I think we could make an exception for someone who's not only the Beschirm Frau, it means something like patron saint, but don't worry, she's very, very much alive. And this is my, my mother, Annie, Annie blanke Bleiderstein, who was so much at the, at the heart, at the birth of this festival, and indeed, I think she was present at my own birth, if I remember right. And um, yeah, dearest Annie had magically, although she's totally ageless, had a very big, I mean, she's not 100, not that big, but had a big birthday um, this, this, this weekend. And um, we love Annie to bits. And all the musicians who all the years have been coming to the festival love her too. So one particular melody somehow comes to mind. I wonder what melody it is. Rings a bell. In fact, it was, um, it, it's not only thanks to Annie I'm on the world, but there was, of course, at some point also my dear dad, David, and no one used to play Happy Birthday more beautifully than he did, yeah. right? David is, David is uh, in our hearts and minds. And it's time to wrap up this lovely gathering. Um, thank you so much. Thank you for being here with us. Um, uh, thank you for the team to making this happen. Uh, um, Pascal and Dennis and the whole team of Concerto Media, Abbas, our wonderful uh, producer, Joannica, our managing director, and um, the board led by the wonderful Patrice van Rimsdijk, the whole team behind the festival, um, that we could uh, put on a quality production into your living rooms this afternoon. I'm proud of that. Thank you for watching. Support the arts and musicians where you can. We love you all, and we're going to end with a piece that we also all love. This is Piazzolla from the 1950s. Have a lovely afternoon. Stay safe. Lots of, lots of love from Stift. <laughs>
Shall we bow, just in case? Just in case.